Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting. Today we are going to solve this type of equation. One of our viewer has sent this question to us and they requested to solve it. Have a look very carefully. 3 times x plus 1 minus 2 times y minus 5. First of all, we should be comfortable in opening the parentheses brackets. The outer value 3 will be multiplied with all the values inside the bracket. Distributive property we are using here. What we will do? This 3 will be multiplied with x. First value 3 multiplied with x will make it 3x. Then 3 will be multiplied with the next value 1. 3 ones are 3. I am keeping negative sign as it is as of now. I am not going to change anything. 2 I am going to bring inside and keeping the bracket as it is. 2 multiply y, this is 2y. 2 multiply with 5, this is 10. I am keeping every sign the same way it is there. Nothing is changed. Only 2 is brought inside the bracket. Now, since this negative sign is there outside the bracket, what we can do? While opening the bracket now, 3x plus 3, all the signs will be changed. Means this negative sign when multiplied with 2y, it will be negative 2y. And this negative sign when multiplied with negative 10, minus and minus becomes plus. We will get plus 10 equal to 0. Now try to understand. I have written this step. You can directly write this step as well. If your concepts are clear, you can directly multiply minus 2 with y. It becomes minus 2y. Minus 2 with minus 5 makes it plus 10. Whichever way you are comfortable, you can use them. Now, 3x. Then I am writing minus 2y. And then 3 plus 10, 13 is equal to 0. This is what the equation becomes. After solving all these things, we are getting linear equation in two variables. Two variables are there, x and y. And this is known as linear equation. Why linear equation? Because degree is 1. If you plot its graph, you will get a straight line. We are not going to plot the graph because purpose of our video was to show how to simplify this parenthesis. That is how we will come to this equation. And yes, one more thing let me tell you. By chance, if let's suppose this is this y, this is not y, if let's suppose instead of this, this is x. What will happen then? This y will become x. Everywhere x will be there. And now last step I am going to change. To show you if only one variable is there, then how would we be able to solve it? Now check the last step. This will become 3x minus 2x plus 3 plus 10 equal to 0. What I have done, I have interchanged the terms and brought like terms near to each other. Now 3x minus 2x is x and 3 plus 10 is 13 which when we transpose to right side its sign will be negative, then I will get x is equal to minus 13. So, we have covered both ways. Variables are different. We will get a linear equation in two variables at the end. If variables are same, then obviously we can solve them and can, we can find its value. I hope you are clear with the concept. Thank you so much for watching the video.